today the topic of discussion is that practical importance of japa and dhyana that is repeating repeating name holy name and meditation this is a very vast chapter and it is really very difficult to discuss this in detail in a very short short period of time om namo anukulach chandraya joy for the pursuer of spiritual pathway or you can say the spiritual pursuer repeating holy name and meditation these two aspects are of utmost importance and helpful you can say these are the two instruments but today we would like to discuss on the practical importance of doing name and meditation or you can say the importance of uh, <coughs> repeating holy name and doing meditation in everyday life in a very nutshell we can summarize the entire matter if we say the saying of sri thakur anukula chandra he has written he say name makes a person sharp and meditation makes a person calm and receptive so this is the practical importance of doing or repeating holy name and meditation sister thakur anukul chandra when he was yeah and young a young person he wrote a book actually he wrote only one book in his whole life a very small book which is called satanusar the book is very small but its essence is in finite and in this book while writing about name and meditation he wrote that name makes a person sharp and meditation makes a person calm and receptive now there are some words in his saying number 1 is name number 2 is sharp number 3 is meditation number 4 is calm and number 5 is receptivity but still there is one one word left you can say or you can say one word is not uh, written here but that word is the but most important that is the person who is deserving to meditate upon so therefore or you can say in bengali it is called dheyo you need some object some person 
upon whom you can meditate it so you need a dhyo now if we analyze if we clarify these words i think then we will be in a position to understand the practical importance of name doing name and meditation or you can say it's used in our everyday life uh repeating holy name and doing meditation these two things are not only necessary for a spiritual pursuer but also necessary for every person you know for a doctor for politicians for you see for any ordinary person these two aspects are of utmost importance these are required actually now what is name first of all what is name what is holy name name means holy name a mentor a sadguru or you can say love lord he gives a holy name not all name not all names are holy name i should say but holy name is just a sound vibration or you can say just a sound but this sound is not like other sound the most common holy name as we know in hindu uh, religious scripture that is om om is a is a holy name in hindu religious scripture but sister thakur anukula chandra has given a holy name to us and uh, according to his bharsan this holy name has every ingredient of the earlier name that the prophets have given to us from time to time but still it is something beyond that it is something above that or you can say the the holy name that sri sri thakur anukula chandra has given to us is according to us according to the devotee of sri sri thakur anukula chandra is the holy name of the most highest order most highest level as a matter of fact the whole universe is a sound vibration i think you are aware of the big bang theory according to the big bang theory this whole universe has created uh, through a sound big sound big bang and it is said that this sound is like om from the spiritual point of view we can relate this sound as om and as a matter of fact the holy name that sri thakur anukula chandra has given to us is also a sound which is uh, most similar with the you see with the sound by which this universe has first created now holy name repeating holy name means that you see this whole world is nothing but full of names and full of forms remember we cannot think anything without a name and without a form for example at the present moment i am thinking for a cup of tea so tea is the name and it has a particular kind of form 
दो लिक्विड बट से इट इज रेड इन कलर लाइक दैट एंड दिस सो टी इज द नेम एंड इट हैज अ फॉर्म वी कैन नॉट थिंक एनीथिंग व्हिच हैज नो नेम एंड व्हिच हैज नो फॉर्म सो देयरफॉर अ होली नेम इज आल्सो a name but and it has a form what is that form as i have told you that is dev that is the person upon whom i would like to meditate that is the form of meditation so for example when we meditate then uh, we must you see go on repeating our, our holy, holy name, name. But, but keeping uh, the, uh, the uh, okay. i should I say, say keeping the, the picture, picture of our, our love lord, lord or our, our mentor, mentor that is of sisi thakur anukul chandra in the place of agra chakra agra chakra means the place between the two eyebrows the place the between the, the two, two eyebrows. eyebrows now so repeating holy name is essential for a spiritual pursuer but the reason is why or what is the scientific explanation the scientific explanation is that that our mind is you know is always unsteady, unsteady turbulent, turbulent strong, strong and obstinate, obstinate. and in you see this is uh, in, in unsteady, unsteady mind, mind in turbulent, turbulent mind, mind we cannot, cannot take any concrete decision, decision. and whatever, whatever decision, decision we, we take that would be that would very likely be wrong, wrong. So, so first of all, all we will have, have to Uh, make, make our, our mind, mind steady. steady. Make, make our, our mind, mind calm. Make, make our, our so, so so. Therefore, therefore the, the practical, practical importance, importance of, of doing, doing name, name first, first of all, all is the, the that, that according to Sri Thakur Nukul Chandra, name that is repeating holy name makes a person sharp. sharp means, means that, that it would sharp the, the sense organ five sense organ we have five sense organs as we all know for example we have eyes uh, to look upon by which we can uh, see we have ears by which we can hear we can listen and through our nose we can, can take, take smell, smell and through our, our tongue, tongue we can, can take, take taste, taste of things and through skin we can, can feel contact, contact we can, can feel the stimulus of touch touch, touch stimulus you can say so therefore we have five sense organs but remember uh, The, the the things, things which we see, see or you can, can say that, that according to sisi thakur anukul chandra he says, says that, that what, what we do not see through our, our eyes, eyes what, what we do not hear through our, our ears, ears what, what we do not feel through our, our sense organ you see these, these do not, not mean that, that uh, these, these things uh, do not exist, exist. They, they do, do exist. exist since, since our, our since, since the, the power, power of our, our sense, sense organs organ, since the, the power, power of our sense organs is very limited, very limited. That's, that's why we cannot feel them, them. But, but it is it possible, possible to increase, increase to enhance 
the power of our sense organs. So therefore, while Sri Thakur Anukula Chandra has said that holy name makes a person sharp, it means that it would sharp the power of our five sense organs. As a matter of fact, we all feel the sensation. You see, we all feel the sensation of the environment through our sense organs. And we act or we respond accordingly, according to the stimuli that we get. From so therefore, if we can increase the power of our sense organ, then we will be able to, you see, feel more or you can say the, you can say our world of realization would expand accordingly and repeating holy name, you see, in this respect is very helpful. How? As I have told you, the scientific background is uh, like this, as I have told you, that in our day to day life, we, we have to come across, you see, different names and different forms. For example, while we watch, while we are watching, for example, TV set, but we see that different names and different forms in that paradigm. So, if you want to make your mind uh, restless, then if we say it is advisable to see advertisement in the TV. Because while in the while watching advertisement in the TV, you would see different names and different forms. And we cannot really recollect, we cannot really remember, we cannot really think. You see, when we see so many names and so many forms. But while I repeat the holy name that my mentor has given to me, this means that I am thinking and I am repeating on only one name and of course on only one form. Form means here the picture of my love lord, that is the picture of my mentor, that is the picture of Sisri Thakur Anukul Chandra himself. So therefore, while uh, I repeat the holy name, it means that I am thinking or I am pondering over only one name and I am watching, you see, on only one picture. What would happen if I go on repeating uh, the, holy the holy name, name. And, and if, if I, I go on watching, watching my, the picture of my love lord, lord then all, all the forms, forms all, all the names and all the forms, forms of the world would simply merge in, in one name and one form. And, and by this way, our, our sense organs, you see, would be more Sarpar. You see, people, you would, uh, I think you, are, you have heard that people talk about, you see, super sensory power, or you can say ultra sensory power, or you can say, uh, you see, uh, super conscious power, super conscious activity like that and this. That is, Otirindriyo. Uh, khamota, power, power like that and this. According to Sisi Thakur Nukul Chandra, there is no miracle here. That by or you can say through sustained practice of repeating holy name and doing meditation, you see, we can achieve the, you, say, you see, more powerful sense of them. And this, you see, possessing more powerful sense organs means that uh, we, we can see 
much more. We can hear much more. We can sense, we can smell much more. That we were used to previously. So therefore, name actually makes a person more sharper. And remember, the center of all the sense organs is definitely the brain. Brain is the center, ultimate center of all the sense organs. For example, we have the eyes. You see, we have optic nerves which actually uh, you see, connects the ear with the brain. That is from the brain, optic nerve that comes and you see, it connects with the uh, eyes. So therefore, the ultimate center of all the sense organs is brain. So therefore, while I say or while Sisi Thakur has I uh, said that, that name makes, makes a person sharper. It means that, it means that, while I go on repeating or when a person through sustained practice of repeating holy name, then the power of the brain would simply increase, would simply enhance. And if we can enhance, if we can increase the power of brain, definitely would be in a position to understand things more clearly, more, you see, more intelligently and definitely uh, people would say that I am something superior than ordinary people. And as a matter of fact, <laughs> this is not actually the case, not that it is miracle. As a matter of fact, Sister Thakur Kulchandra has never believed, you see, in miracle in such supernatural power like that and this. He has stated that all the powers that we have, we have all, we see, we, we have already, we have, uh, or we possess this. The simply, the, uh, you see, we cannot exert this power because of the lack of practice uh, of doing name. So, this is the practical importance of repeating holy name. Now coming to the meditation. Meditation makes a person, as I have told you, meditation makes a person calm and receptive. Now calm, calm means calmness, means that your mind would be steady. But remember, Sisi Thakur Anukulu Chandra has stated that this calmness does not necessarily mean that your mind would be static. Not at all. Mind would be always dynamic. No matter. But uh, calmness means, according to Sisi Thakur that your mind would be balanced. Would be balanced. That means, in present strain, in danger, in very, you see, delicate situation, your mind you see, would not be unsteady, would not, that is, you can take right decision at right time. That is, in every situation, you can take right decision because your mind is balanced. So, calmness means, according to Sri Thakur, that is balanced mind. And uh, in Gita, Bhagavad Gita, we actually come across the uh, uh, this, this calmness of mind, mind. You, you will find, find it in the sixth chapter, chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Gita in 34, 34 uh, sloka, uh, sloka where Arjuna you see where Arjuna uh, asked you can say or asked uh, Lord Krishna that how can I you see make my mind steady because uh, Arjuna has stated like this in the, this slok, uh, states that Chanchalam hi, Chanchalam hi mona Krishna, Chanchalam hi mona Krishna, Pramathi balavad dhiram, Tashaham nigraham manne, Bayarivo sudhushkaro. It means, it means that, that, that oh Krishna, you can say, 
that the mind is unsteady, turbulent, strong and obstinate. And I consider its control, you see, to be greatly difficult, you see, as of the wine. This is the statement of Arjuna. Remember, this is not the you see, statement of only Arjuna. I think this is the situation uh, of all of, of all of us, all of all of, all of all, uh, ordinary persons, because our minds are always restless, are always unsteady, are always turbulent. This is the nature, you can say, of our mind, in a way. So, what are the ways, or what is the way by which I can get rid of this? Uh, you can say. Problem. problem. And, and Lord, Lord Krishna, Krishna has, has given, given an answer. An answer. Uh, uh, in the same uh, chapter, chapter, you see, in, in 35th uh, uh, sloka, he has stated that, that Asam Sayam Mahabaho Mano Durnigraham Chalam Obhasana Tukam Teo Vairagena Chagrid That means that it means that, that O oh mighty, mighty uh, you see, Arduan, 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 you see, see undoubtedly, undoubtedly the mind, mind is untractable and restless. restless. But, but O oh son of Kunti, Kunti it is brought under control, control through practice and detachment. So, so you see, see even the Lord the himself has acknowledged that, that Mind, mind is untractable, mind, mind is restless, is restless. But, but he has, he has given, given the, uh, you see, solution also. He, he has given, given or he has, has uh, shown us the avenues through which we can, can get rid, rid of this problem. problem. What are the avenues or what, what are the, the solutions, solutions that, that he has he given? given? That, that is Obhashana. And Bhairabhyana, that, that is through practice, practice and detachment. So, so practice, practice is very necessary. necessary. You see, very, uh, is, is of utmost most important, important I, I should say. say. And as a matter of practice, Thakur Anukula Chandra stated that you must, you see, uh, repeat holy name every day and you must do uh, meditation every day. It must not be mixed. It must, it must not, not be missed, missed even for a single day. day. That, that is, is, make this uh, as, as habit. habit. Make, make uh, you see, repeating holy name and uh, doing meditation, meditation as a habit. habit. Not only habit, habit. it is it always better, better if you can make it as, as an, an addiction. addiction. This is not, not very easy thing, thing to, definitely, definitely, because so while you will uh, you see, while well, well, you will repeat the holy name and while you will do the meditation, you will see that thousands of thoughts would, would come and it would make uh, your mind even more restless. But in this restless mind, you will have to meditate. And through meditation, uh, in, you see, in course of time, a state will come when your mind would be somewhat, at least somewhat steady, at least somewhat balanced, that is calm and uh, you see receptive. Another thing is that, Sisi Thakurunukun Chandra stated that meditation makes us receptive. Now, what does this term mean, receptive? This is very important because uh, this, uh, this is important, important for, for every ordinary people, people, for all the persons, persons of the world. world. For example, you see, see if I can, can give some, some examples, examples, I have, I have seen, seen several, several doctors, doctors who are really very sharp, who are really very intelligent, intelligent people, people, but they, they are very reluctant, reluctant to listen the narrative of the patient, patient or the uh, they, uh, they are very, are very reluctant. reluctant. They do not, you see, easily listen, listen 
or they do not want to spare much time you see uh, in listening the agonies or the pain and problem of the patient uh, this is because of the fact this is i should say one disqualification no doubt about it maybe these doc these doctors are intelligent doctors are very sharp doctors they can understand problem but still if a, if a doctor doesn't attain you see the you see the words of the patient it means that he has disqualification what is the disqualification that is he is not receptive receptive means that i must have to you see capacity to you see to listen others to accept other views i have told you that this is also necessary for uh, you see doctors even for politicians you see we know several politicians at least some of them are really very honest really very uh, good in the sense that they are very you see uh, friendly and they really uh, do uh, service for the mankind there is no doubt about it but one disqualification we would uh, i see you would you would find that is they are not receptive they cannot is it tolerate other person they cannot tolerate the opposition view they think that the opposition are making new i see they make noise only for the sake of opposition this is yes in most of the time it is it is a fact but not that that every criticism every uh, you see every statement of the opposition are baseless is you see these are not uh, this is not true i must have to take the views of the opposition also so i would have the capacity i have the, i would have the power to accept whatever lightly in their views so i would have to be receptive now meditation does it meditation helps us helps us to you see to listen others this is very important uh, because uh, so therefore i would like to request the politicians in particular to meditate at least for a while yeah you see uh, as a regular basis because you would have, you would have to listen you see the in politics not only in politics i think in every person's life you see tolerance is one of the you see good qualification some people have the capacity to tolerate others but some people you see do not have the capacity so for them and even for those people who have the capacity to tolerate others even for those people just to enhance just to increase that power everybody needs to meditate and as i told you while meditating one must take something uh, we can say meditating object as we all know that some people talk about the flame of the candle uh, as meditating ob- object you see this is uh, not a very nice plan as a matter of fact it is what is known as fixation if we want to concentrate our mind you see on the flame of you see uh, the, the candle, candle it means that i am trying, trying to concentrate on non living thing and, and this is not concentration. concentration this is what is known as fixation so there is distinct uh, distinction between concentration and uh, you see fixation fixation that is what we do not need we need concentration and for concentration concentration means actually that we must be receptive that we must uh, we must have the power to listen others we must have to we must have the power to tolerate others so meditation actually does it 
now uh, you see uh, how we can achieve this fit how we can achieve this qualification as i have told you you see uh, again i should say that repeating holy name and doing meditation is not very pleasant thing so you see these are the uh, practice that we need to do on regular basis because of the fact that these are not very pleasant things to us really these are not pleasant but you will have to do it we will have to do we would have to do it on regular basis and in this context uh, you see i can uh, recollect the sayings of ramakrishna you see another prophet he has stated that for a you see uh, you see to a patient of jaundice who is suffering from jaundice you see he uh, cannot get the taste of palm candy and palm candy to him is tasteless but you see uh, using or taking this palm candy is not only you see a, uh, it not only considered as food but also it is considered as the remedy for the disease jaundice and through you see sustained uh, is you see uh, practice of taking this palm candy gradually this jaundice patient would take, would get that test same is the case you can say with the you see with this doing name and meditation because these are not very pleasant thing as a matter of fact uh, we are habituated with the bad things as you know and the bad complexes you see bad complexes uh, so far i should say have Rained in me, and Sri Thakur and Guru Chandra stated that as bad complexes obsess us, but you see, good complexes have also the power to obsess us. You see, Swami Vivekananda once has stated that everything is infectious, good or bad. You see, we are scared. For, for corona, corona you know so, it is because it is a viral infection and we even we see we are scared even to serve this corona patient because since it is contagious since it is infectious well this is viral infection and virus the very name virus means poison this is bad same is the case with bad complex but And, and since bhaira bhaira is infection uh, is a contagious infection it, it is an infectious disease but it is a bad thing but good thing is good thing is also infectious this is what swami vivekananda stated that everything is infectious good or bad not that the bad complexes are infectious but good complexes are also infectious So, so the, the way, way out, out for us is to practice on regular, regular basis. basis you see, see what, what we will get what we will what we would gain from, from doing name and meditation, meditation. we should we not, not you see, see we should we not, not uh, think, think about, about this because, because once, once while you see thakur anukul chandra was in himayatpur that is in present bangladesh then one hawk side you see he was a uh, you see high government official higher government official he once uh, asked thakur this question that we have heard that you have felt the noose and sound now can we achieve this fit can we uh, feel this and the another question that he ask that is what is, what is the use, use or what is the profit of these things sis thakur anukula chandra has replied like this that see i have you see i have never done anything considering profit 
or loss. You see, I love to do name, and I feel uh, and I felt pleasure in doing name. Therefore, I uh, you see, I did name, and uh, while I was repeating name, and then I gradually went deeper and deeper. And when I went deeper and deeper, then you see any you see there, uh, one can uh, one can hear sounds of infinite kinds, and one can see you see very many kinds of lights. That is sabda and jyoti darshan. And in uh, Islam, uh, I should say Islam. Also, also, that is in Quran, in, in Mustafa Sharif, and, and in Quran, the, the this uh, aspects of sound and wave, a sound and, wave, wave, sound and uh, light. light. These two, two things, things are mentioned, mentioned. and Hakshai uh, wanted to know whether these are the, the realities. realities. These were the realities, the and Sisi Thakur and Kulchandra stated, "Yes, it is. These, these are realities." realities. And, and he also, also replied that, that yes, yes, you can also achieve this fit, you, you can also feel it, it only if you practice it on regular basis. basis. So therefore, Sisi Thakur Anukul Chandra has given, you see, maximum emphasis on regular habit of, you see, repeating holy name and doing meditation on regular habit because through sustained practice, one can feel it. And this, you see, as uh, the, the world of our feelings would expand, would find, you see, innumerable things. And when a person, or you can say, where a pers where, when a pursuer of spiritual pathway, that is, when a spiritual pursuer actually feels uh, these things, and when a person, person can see the light, the light, when a when person, person can, can hear, hear, you see, sounds, sounds of infinite, infinite kind, kind, then these are, are in turn, turn, I should I say, helpful, helpful to increase his, his faith, his, his belief, belief in spiritual, spiritual pathway. pathway. So, in, in this way, way or in this regard, regard we, can we can say that, that you see, listening, listening sound and, and uh, you uh, see, watching light, these are, you can say, endowments or wealth of, of repeating name and, and meditation. meditation. But, but there is there one, one caution, caution that we must not repeat name and meditation. meditation. You, you see, see only for getting, getting all these wealth that, that are mentioned just now. now. Not at all. So you must or we must repeat the holy name and we must do meditation, meditation just to get him, just to attach with him, just to attach with my love lord, just to attach with my God. This is the way, one of the way of Bhakti Yoga, actually repeating name and doing meditation is a, you see, uh, these, these, these two things are the instruments of Bhakti Yoga. You see, there, there are, are four, four kinds, kinds of yogas yoga by which we can connect, connect ourselves with the, the with our God. God. That, that is through karma yoga, yoga, through bhakti yoga, yoga and, and through you see uh, uh, gyan yoga, yoga and, and through dhyan yoga. yoga. But, but of all, all the yogas, you see, the uh, bhakti yoga, yoga is the most simplest one, one, or you can say this is the most simplest simplest avenue through which we can connect ourselves with the, the God. God. And, and repeating holy name and doing meditation, these are, are as I have told you, the two chief ingredients, two chief instruments by which we can connect, connect ourselves with the Paramatma or with the God, God or with our Ishto, we can say. say. But, but one thing is that, 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 that is, while I must, you see, do it regularly, and, and I, I must, must meditate, meditate, you see, uh, upon which, which, this is one of the questions. 
Meditation means, according to Sisi Thakur, Anupuri Chandra, just, just to ponder over a thought. And that thought must be related with the interest of our Ishto. That thought must be related with the interest of our Ishto. This is also, uh, you see, one of the most important thing that we should remember. That is, uh, if I can give an example, then it will be beneficial for us to understand the whole uh, matter. One Sudhir Kumar Singho, he was a Rithik. You see, Rithik means that uh, he has the power to initiate others on behalf of Sisi Thakur Anukulachandra. As a matter of fact, the Sisi Thakur Anukulachandra is the person who actually initiates us through Rithik. Now, he was a Rithik and once Sisi Thakur Anukulachandra has, uh, you see, uh, asked him to go to Sundarbon area and, you see, asked him to try to build a, an ashram if it is possible for him. And Sudhir Kumar Singho, the Rithik, he went there. The, the place was completely unfamiliar to him. The place was, uh, and the persons who were living there were absolutely unfamiliar to him. He didn't know the culture, the taste, the, you see, the dealings, the behavior of the persons living there. But he had only one capital, that is the holy name and, of course, the picture of Sisi Thakur He went there and he, is, he was, you see, he, he was always repeating the holy name and he was meditating upon the picture of Sisi Thakur Anukulachandra in his Agga Chakra. It, it is true, but he is thinking or you can say the thought of his meditation was how to, you see, build an ashram and how to propagate the life philosophy of Sisi Thakur Anukula Chandra here, here within the, the people of these localities. localities. And he was, he was successful. successful. As a matter, matter of fact, fact in, in Goshaba, you see, see this is the place near Sundarbon, Sundarbon where, where he was able actually, actually to build an ashram of Sisi Thakur Anukula Chandra. This ashram is, is still there. there. And, and you see, see he was absolutely, you see, unfamiliar, he was absolutely, in a way, a foreigner there. But, you see, his only capital was the, as I have told you, the order of Sisi Thakur Anukula Chandra. And so, his thought of meditation was that how to build an ashram of Sisi Thakur and how to propagate the life philosophy or you can say, the preaching of Sisi Thakur Anukulacho. But, the fact is this, that he didn't only meditate upon these thoughts, he did it in real action. This is one of the, that is, we must meditate on one thought, and that thought must be related with the interest of our uh, love lord. This is, uh, is a, you see, this is very important aspects of meditation. And just to think on this pious thought would actually would not serve us. This is one of the most important things. As, you see, uh, Sisi Thakur Anukulachandra once has stated that with mere good intentions, hell is proverbially paved. With mere good intentions, hell is proverbially, you see, paved. So therefore, only good intention is not at all enough. You would have to do it in action. Because unless you do it uh, in reality, you cannot understand your weakness, your faults. So, whatever thought, 
that, that you, you think, think during meditation, meditation you must implement, implement it in reality. reality. And, and while, while implementing, implementing the thought of meditation, meditation in reality, reality one, per, one, you see, one would have to face many obstacles, many impediments, many, you see, suffering, many criticisms. And it must so happen that, uh, you see, for example, uh, one may have, uh, may have to go uh, even to the court of law to settle some disputes. So, if I see that a person has come, come to court of law for a dispute, dispute then generally we, we uh, say that this people is a very worldly people. people. This people this cannot, cannot be a saintly people, people because, because this people has come to court of law for a dispute. dispute. No, no, this is a wrong, wrong idea. idea, absolutely wrong idea. idea. For, you see, to establish, to establish the interest of my isto, to establish the interest of my isto, to implement the desires of my isto. If, uh, you see, I may have to go to the court of law for some, you see, to, for settlement of some disputes, then I would have to go there. I would have to go there. If, if, see, if, I, can, if I can't find any other avenue, to settle the thing, disputes, then I would have to go to the court of the law. That does not mean that I am not, uh, you see, a saintly person. On the other hand, I am more saintly person. You see, uh, you see there are many people, uh, many saintly people, uh, you, would, you would see that apparently we may, you see, uh, we, we may fail to understand them. We may think that they are worldly people. They are, uh, you see, they are, uh, I should say, quarreling upon uh, worldly things and they have come to the court of law for settling disputes. So, these people can't be, you see, spiritual persons. No, this is a very, I should say, very wrong idea, wrong perception. Even, uh, you see, a spiritual person can come to the court of law, no matter. But, what is important? Is his, his intention. intention. His, his intention, intention is not to, not to establish his, his own self-interest. His, his intention is to establish the interest of his ishto and, and to establish and to, you see, and to implement the desires, the desires of the ishto. If a person, you see, has to go to the hell, it is very welcome decision. Then he is, I should say, not only I should say, everybody should consider him a very spiritual person. And he is a spiritual person, I should say, in both letter and spirit. So therefore, uh, we must not, you see, misjudge. We must not, uh, you see, uh, have uh, misconception uh, regarding some of the things. Uh, because generally we believe that a meditative person that a that spiritual, spiritual person, person would go to the, the you see, uh, go to the solitary place and would meditate, meditate upon God. God. Yes, it is, it is also needed. needed. Not, Not that, that meditation, meditation in solitary, solitary place. place. Yes, it is needed. And, and repeating holy name uh, is definitely needed in uh, solitary place. Uh, this, this will, uh, these are helpful. For, I should say, for the, the novice, novice people, people, for the apprentice, but, but for the experienced spiritual, spiritual person, person, he, he can, can, you see, he can repeat holy name, he can, can meditate, meditate even in a noisy place. place. Within a very noisy place, place, it is possible, it is possible for him to all these things, things, to do all these things. things. So, so, we must not, uh, you see, misjudge, we must not, uh, you see, uh, so, so we must do justice. We must, we must not, not do, do injustice, injustice, injustice to this, uh, person. this person. This is a spiritual, spiritual person. person. So, so spiritual person, person that they, uh, they would they not behave, behave like worldly person, person. This is not correct. correct. They, they are, are yes, yes, you see, they, they would have, have to implement, implement the desires of his isto, of their isto. And they would have to, you see, do or implement the, the interest, interest of his history. And while doing these things, things 
if a person if a person has to go as i have told you even to the hell it is a very welcome decision still he is a very spiritual person so uh, so therefore these are the practical important these are the uh, practical importance of doing name and meditation uh, and this topic is very important as i have told you not only for spiritual pursuer these are required even for every person this is starting from a very uh, ordinary person to very extraordinary person you see from all for all walks of uh, the life that is for all sections of the society this to think that is repeating holy name and uh, doing meditation would be very helpful this much i must uh, i can say with uh, you can say authority yes this does not mean that i am a very saintly person i am a very you see higher i am a spiritual person of higher level not at all i am not claiming so but at least uh, i have the perception uh, i can say uh, at least from my understanding that repeating holy name and uh, doing meditation on regular basis and implementing the thoughts of meditation in reality you see would help us to enhance ourselves to enhance ourselves from ordinary level to extraordinary level that is it would help us to attach ourselves with our god live in love joy guru